All right, so again, still continuing with the serratus anterior, I wanna go over some ways to regress some exercises as far as this, because one main thing about physical therapy or anybody's health and fitness is you wanna make sure that you're accordingly um, addressing your level of difficulty, um, because obviously, you know, someone's already coming into a clinical setting because they're hurt, okay? So you wanna make sure you start from the base, and then from there you build upon the base, and you have that strong foundation to continue with the longevity and kind of long-term goals and kind of gains. So, speaking of regressions, we're gonna use a, a light tubing as far as for resistance, okay? We're gonna get into a supine position, okay? Because we're not using a lot of force, we're not using our body weight to press. Um, this is the less, much less resistance. So what we're gonna do, facing far, we're gonna go ahead and put it towards the mid spine again, okay? And then, again, adjust the closer you grab to the insertion point, or the origin, I should say, which is back here, the more resistance you're gonna have. So again, that's just preference. Okay, and then from there, we can start with the elbows played out a little bit. We're gonna get into like a bear hug, okay? We're gonna go ahead and start to really push up towards the ceiling into protraction. And then we're gonna really try to push towards the ceiling and kind of get into like a big hug position, okay? We're gonna hold that for about three seconds or so. And then slowly allow the elasticity in the bends, pull your arms back down into our starting position with the elbows slightly flared out, only because we're getting into that bear hug kind of movement. So that's one way to kind of regress the sorry, this interior exercise. Um, again, it's just gonna kind of get you into that longevity, make sure that you're safe.